All right. I don't know what to call this, but we're basically going to talk about some useful things about working with plugins and Pro Tools. So a shortcut and a setting that we can use. All right. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys today that has to do with plugins is actually a setting within Pro Tools. So if you go to setup and then preferences, and then you go over the mixing tab, we have something called our default EQ and default dynamics. And you can actually pick any plugin. I think it's any plugin that you have installed in your system as your default plugin. So for my EQ, I I like the Fab Filter Pro Q. If you've watched any of my videos, you've seen that. So I'm going to set that today to my Fab Filter Pro Q and then default dynamics. Let's check it out. Maybe I'll do I'll do this one for now. The LA2A. So, so to show you how it changes things, I'm just going to leave my insert slot as none for now and then I'm going to hit okay. If I can actually click on the button. And then when you go to add a new insert, so either here in the edit window or if we go to the mix window, we can find the same inserts panels, right? I think we're all pretty familiar with that. You click on that. When I then go to add my plugin, you can see that now the ones that I chose here are really easily accessible at the top of my menu. So that's a really great way to really quickly access plugins that you're using over and over and over again. I'll probably leave my EQ on here because I legit use the Fab Filter Pro Q constantly. So you can see here I have it as like my EQ on like all of my tracks. So that's something you can do. And I'll show you really quickly. If I go back to the preferences and mixing, if I take this one out, you'll see how there won't be anything there for that option. So when I go here, it's just the Fab Filter Pro Q now. So you won't even have this little category if you don't set them. But yeah, basically for your EQ and your Dynamics plugins, you can set your favorite ones to be really easily accessible here. So that's the first thing that I wanted to show you guys today. And the other thing feels like it's different, but it's not really different. So if I go, I'm just going to undo what I did already for you guys. So I'm going to go to none here. I'm going to hit OK. And so now when I go to add a plugin, right, I don't have those options there. My favorites aren't there. But what you can do is let's say something is one of my favorites. So maybe I want to, I'm going to take forever picking one now. So maybe like, um, so maybe like my Blue Cat Audio patchwork, for example. Maybe this one I'm using a ton because I'm using it to load up VST plugins. If you don't know how to do that, I have a video on that. So I'll put a card up on the screen. That's just like shameless self-promotion. Oh, God, I'm horrible. Anyway, if you want this one to be easily accessible, what you can do is hold Command and then click on it. And now you'll notice it didn't add it to the track, right? But instead, when you click to add a plugin, instead of having it like right up here somewhere, it's at the top right here, which is also very easily accessible. It makes it easier to find. If you're using it a ton, that might be the easiest way for you to do things. It might improve your workflow. I know there are a few plugins where I spend way too long looking for them every time I want to use them because sometimes I forget who makes them. So this is why I have this organized so I can see both both systems, what type of plugin it is and then who makes them. But sometimes I can't remember who makes them or I can't remember what category they're in and I spend way too long looking for my plugins. So if it's a plugin that you know you use kind of often and you have trouble finding it on the list every time, you can do that. Just hold command and click on it once and then it'll it'll be added to your like your favorites at the top here. And um, if it's something you're using all the time, it might make sense to put it there as well. But yeah, the basic idea is command and click on a plugin and it adds it at the top up here. Or you can actually go to your preferences and uh, add it to your favorites if it's an EQ or a Dynamics plugin. So I think that's about it. I think that's everything I wanted to say today. So, you know, if you like this video, you know what to do, like comment, subscribe. I'd appreciate all that stuff. And I'd love to know what you think in the comments below if you found this useful. I do try to think of topics that my college students have asked me about or that they've found helpful in addition to just stuff that I've found helpful because uh, I feel like that that is a little more likely to help more people. I don't know. Anyway, I have a Patreon, so it's patreon.com slash Noise, and my patrons get access to additional content. We have a Discord server that we've been hanging out on. It's been a ton of fun, and I think you get access to all that for as little as a dollar. I think the dollar is the smallest amount that you can join for on Patreon. And other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday, and thank you so much for watching. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. my dance.
It's Friday. It's four o'clock. It's almost four o'clock. And I'm going to start building my new desk now. So I'm really excited. But it's hot out, so I'm probably going to be miserable by the end of it. But I'll have a new desk in my studio, and I'm really pumped about it. So could be worse. I'm pretty spoiled over here. So hope you guys are all doing well. I'm going to get to it.